back. The lights are all over my room. <laughs> Well, hello, my name is New, and if you're new to this channel, welcome, and if you're not so new to this channel, welcome back. Um, I forgot to record an intro, so this is the intro. Before we get into this video, I just wanted to say thank you for all the views and all the people who have subscribed already to my channel. It's very surprising, and I love you guys so much for all the support and love that you've given me. But also, I just wanted to say I really love G Idol, and um, this is why I'm doing this video because I just wanted to um, show support to my lovely ladies. I am an avid K-pop fan, which from the amount of times I put K-pop in my videos and how much merch I've worn, um, I would think people would know that by now. But another thing is that I'm going to be doing Sujin's Su Jin's makeup. Um, from one particular, bleh, from one particular scene of the Oh My God music video, so I'm going to put it on the screen for you guys to see. I probably mention it later on in the video, so yeah, let's actually get started. First, I'm going to be doing research because one of the makeup artists uh, that G Idol has made a video about her talking about the makeup and in a section she talks about Sujin's makeup and usually what Sujin looks for. So yeah, she talks about the concept and everything and I'm just going to put a clip of me reacting to that or doing research. Excuse me, I burped. But yeah, so let's actually go on with the video. Um, disclaimer, I know I'm not Asian. <laughs> I'm Hispanic and I have very different facial features than Sujin, so of course this is going to be more of inspired because I don't have the same eye shape, nor face shape, nor the same race, so yeah, let's actually get on with ugh, let's actually get on with the video and I need to learn how to speak. So during this tiny little clip I am doing um research upon the makeup look that she is wearing, I'm jotting down stuff, I'm taking out makeup pieces. What was really difficult was figuring out what blushes to wear because she does do a gradient and I talk about that in that little clip too, but since it's speed up no one can know. But yeah, so let's get on with the makeup portion of this video I guess. A little lighter than the other one. Excuse how horrible it looks, but definitely I can go from one to the other and then to my contour. It's probably not exact, but it's definitely close. And also her bronzer isn't that like shimmery, so I don't even know if I want to use this one. Because this is the closest to my skin tone and it looks the best, so I might use that one, but I don't know. might use my original, my original bronzer because this doesn't have any shimmer in it, so I might use that one. Okay, so I think I have that part done. I'll just do the rest. Look for the rest and continue studying what she's doing because um, that's the best thing I can do right now is study what she has done and try to go and do it as best as possible because it is a gradient. It's more of a paler pink, a darker paler pink here, and then it starts going into more of a gradient towards like here. So for lipstick, I looked at a whole bunch of lipsticks that I own, and now in the picture that I'm referencing, it definitely looks a lot darker, but it's not that dark. But the closest one I have is this one which is Vampira by Kat Von D. This is a sample that I got for my birthday like two years ago. Well, yeah, technically a year or two years ago. So I'm gonna definitely use this one because it seems this is the closest color I have. I don't usually purchase lipsticks like this and when I did, I threw them out. So I'm wearing this shirt because this is the closest shirt I got to the photo. We're not dyeing my hair, bleaching it for this video. I bleached my hair a long time ago, I'm not doing that again, and I'm not buying a wig because I don't want to buy non-essential things from Amazon, um, whole thing going on. But I'm using this palette, this is the All That palette from Colourpop, and this just has the feel of that scene, it also has the color spectrum, so 
I'm definitely going to be using Cha Cha Wink Wink Silhouette Please Me. Like those colors act because it's a gradient from the lightest brown towards the darkest. Burgundy red. There's no real black, but I'm gonna try, uh, I'm gonna try and use those colors and continue to refer to her photo because I feel that's the best way I can get this as great. I'm going to be using primer because I do want to do this look well and I don't want to mess up. So yeah, this is the best I can get it. So I'm going to do the same thing on this side and hopefully you can see it better while doing it because the other eye you couldn't see barely anything. So I did not attempt to show that because I know it's covering this eye up because I can't see, but this eye you might be able to see it better. So let's hope for that. And we're going to cha-cha real smooth all the way up to here. So we're going to do it up to this area, kind of. We're going to pat it throughout the eye until we get to that area. Creating kind of like a cut crease, but not really. I'm going to blend this edge out. Yeah. And then we're going to blend this part out too. Now we're going to go ahead and start adding Please Me onto the outer corner, blending it into this shadow. And we're going to do, start doing it like a... we do that we're gonna go ahead and use uncuffed and we're gonna use this blending brush and we're just gonna blend out the outer corners to make it fade a little that's kind of what I have now it's going to look worse before it looks better so we're going to do this and I'm going to apply tiny, tiny bit of liner. It appears that she's not wearing liner, but from the same collection, <laughs> uh, ColourPop, we're going to be using the um, cream gel liner because I want to be able to apply lashes later. So I need very thin, 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 thin um, piece of liner to help. Then I'm blending whatever is super noticeable off. And so this is the eyeliner's look. Okay. Once I do that, I'm going to do the full face of foundation and concealer, and then I'll come back. So I'm back with the full face of full face. So I did my foundation and I did my eyebrows and while that was happening, my phone was updating something I didn't ask for. But I try to do my brows very natural because it seems that she has very natural eyebrows and then my face is horrible because of the acne that is slowly appearing onto my face. But I tried to do very soft um, powders because I didn't want to go too overboard with my powders. So I'm going to go to my blushes now, and I'm going to use this brush, and I'm going to use it very lightly, so I'm going to try and get a little bit of it. I'm going to go right here and start like blending it with it, because the makeup artist did say that she did a little bit right underneath the eye, right in this area, and then she went down, and then she used 
a lighter blush and went a little lower with it. I don't know if you're seeing what I'm doing. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get up this. I'm going to do it like this. Sit this way so you can see. And then I'm going a little lower from that. A little lower. And then we're going to go with our contour where we usually contour. Okay? And that's just basically a gradient of blush and contour. So basically where we contour usually, we're going to just blend that out. Okay, now we're going to do blush on this side. And then we're going to figure out highlighter because I don't think she used highlighter. So we're going to do it very, very lightly. Okay, now that I'm done with that, I'm going to go ahead and do highlighter. So I'm going to use the Wanderous Beauty one. Wander's, Wander Beauty, Wander's Glow. I'm going to use this brush. Now usually, why am I using this brush? I'm going to use the one that I usually use. <laughs> Where is it? This one. And I'm going to go very light. So I'm going to dab, remove, and then I'm going to go very lightly where I usually apply it. So kind of over that, a little bit on the nose. Because she's glowing on the nose. The photo, it seems that she has this like dewy finish, but it's a very light highlighter. Like almost non existent. Use the dewiness to get a little dewiness. Very lightly. I was going to use a mattifying one, but we don't want this to be matte. Oh, that went in my mouth. Jeez. I noticed that she has a little tiny, like a little wing-ish type thing. So I'm gonna use this tiny bit and I'm gonna kind of try and blend it out here. Right here. I'm gonna kind of do it going like a triangle. Tiny bit though. Little triangle type thing. There. Okay, now I'm gonna add mascara and the lashes. Yeah, I got my lashes on. Now to do the lippy. Now I already have foundation on my lip, which I'm gonna leave because it's gonna help with the gradient. We're gonna use um just a tint by ColourPop and the color overexpose. And I already applied it earlier to hydrate my lips, but I'm gonna apply it again. Well, this is our base. It's going to kill me. Yes, I have a whole bunch of lash glue on my hands. Don't kill me. So we're gonna use Vampira. I'm gonna do this for the camera. It's it's disgusting, I know. But this is the only way you can get it. Now I tend to not go for lipsticks that I have to use a lip brush with. I wash this lip brush just for you guys. But I tend to not go for these type of um, lipsticks. Now we're going to apply it darker and little. Oh god. Darker and little. Ah. Now we're going to build this. I'm going to try so we can help. That's basically what I want. Oh wait, we're missing something. So she likes to have, she likes to have a little, her birthmark to be noticeable there. So I'm gonna look for my eyeliner and we're gonna do that.
I need to fix up my hair. This is not cute. So I didn't like the actual outro that I made, so we're having this one. <laughs> Did I do it right? <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want me to do more videos like this, give a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao!